Trump the accidental president, but he is still very much the president of the United States, whether you want to admit it or not. This is going to be a three-parter on some things about Trump. One is going to deal with the build-up to the election. The second part will deal with the last eight months. And the third part, which I think is the most important part, and if you listen to nothing else, at least listen to the third part. Trump is a narcissist. He's an arrogant person, which I kind of think goes with being a narcissist. I think he's a pretty decent profiler, and which is why he does pretty good in business. Not great, he does make a mistake, and that's where the fourth part comes in. He's a risk taker and a gambler. Five, he is lacking in any character, which was a very huge thing for me to struggle with all year long. Six, not a long-term thinker. He will fix problems in front of him and not consider the consequences to the future. Not a good thing in a leader of a nation. Seven, the first truly independent president in my lifetime, at least. Eight, no doubt he is a misogynist. Goes with being a narcissist. They don't care about anybody else, so yeah, I can see how he could be a misogynist. All of this makes Trump a horribly flawed candidate for president. And until November 2015, I was positive he would never make it to the White House. If the race was about him, no way would it have happened. What Trump is not during the entire primary season, this is what was said by the media, what Trump is not is a Republican, an ideologue, he has absolutely no compassion, although he can fake it because he's a good gambler and a profile. He can fake when he needs to. All of this was widely reported in the national media. Yet after he wins the nomination, they move on and keep looking at Trump. But now he has become a Republican, a racist, a tyrant. And yet, Trump is the same man, fundamentally, as he was in 2015, and even before that, when we have plenty of time on TV to look at. What is different is not Trump, but the treatment of him in the media. I keep all of this in mind. For almost a year, I have said it is important we have a counterbalance. Under normal circumstances, the House would have flipped. But remember, the narrative was Trump couldn't win. So that leaves us just the media as a counterbalance. One thing I did knew, know was it was imperative to watch what is going on. Not what is said, but what he is actually being done. Whenever Trump tweets and starts the media and left into insanity, I look at Congress, not at the tweets. Overall, while his words, I can't stand. I prefer that to the eight years of picking just the right words from limiting footage of 9-11 because it might upset us, and refusing to refer to the war as a war on terror. All of it was theater, and I was tired of Washington and media acting like overprotective parents. After eight years of that kind of disrespect and being offended daily, just because we've registered concerns that our concerns were not being, being met or addressed. Treating citizens of America as the real threat. Is it any wonder, at least I took notice, that all of Washington, including Republicans, reporters, analysts, and Hollywood, all united against one man. All these people I had been disrespected to for eight years and it's just amazing all of a sudden these people who treated us with complete disrespect all of a sudden showed signs of life they have not shown in eight years in fact you might even say three decades <sighs> nothing changed about Trump but all of these were against him and they also including Washington Republicans by the way have spent eight years saying a lot and doing nothing, treating us as if we are stupid, and finally they showed signs of life. Finally they took notice of citizens, but
But instead of fixing the problem, like parents who are used to obedience, acted like basically telling us to shut up and do as you're told. Just further angering the very people they needed support from. That's how we got the President Trump. Understand, all of this is what I heard. This is what I heard when I heard these people open their mouths on national TV. Whether or not it's actually the way they meant it, I'm pretty sure they probably didn't. I think their arrogance was so bad, they just couldn't imagine we were smart enough to figure out and understand what we were being talked down to or treated as if, like, we're the problem. Understand, all of this is not what Washington reporters or Hollywood intended to say, as I said. But in their arrogance, they failed to take into account the values and concerns of the very people they needed to convince. They didn't try and undo the damage. They responded with, you're uneducated, you're intolerant. That's what they were telling us daily. So, first of all, they offended us for eight years, and then they spent the last few months trying to stop Trump from winning by telling us we're uneducated. We're the problem. Only because we got tired of being treated as children that needed to be protected. Further angering and alienating, basically treating us like teenagers. Finally, we rebel against the people they are that we are most mad at. And those people were we we were most mad at every single one of them wanted Hillary to win, including Washington Republicans. So it was clear to at least me, they at least believe Hillary would continue with exactly the way they wanted to do things, which is exactly the opposite of what I was wanting to see. Feelings are not something easy to articulate. We know when we feel disrespected, even if we don't always understand why. That's end of part one. Donald Trump, flaws and all. This is how I saw this election. It's my opinion based on my life experiences. By all means, keep looking for the machine that made certain Hillary voters forgot to vote. I'll stick to reality that no poll ever showed Trump couldn't lose. You might find contacts, but what you won't find is how Trump, who did for a year more damage to his campaign than Hillary or the media could ever do. But I'll wait for you to catch up, if you ever do. Unfortunately, the country suffers while you continue to sputter around looking for an excuse instead of looking at the actual answers.